3D pixelation gives a unique look and can also increase the performance of your game. In this video we will take a look at how you can easily achieve this effect using viewports that easily allows you to adjust the intensity of the pixelization with the ability to not affect the UI. We will also add a post-processing effect making everything look a little bit nicer. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. Start by opening up Gero, making this a 3D scene and hitting the plus button and searching for sub viewport. And you want to add a sub viewport container. And as a child to the sub viewport container, you want to add a regular sub viewport. And as a child of the sub viewport, you want to add a camera, camera 3D. Now if we go into the 2D view, we can see our camera inside of here. On the sub viewport size, I'm gonna set it to my project window size. So window and 1152 by 648. And that will fill the entire area. Next you want to go into the sub viewport container and you want to enable stretch and in the top middle right here, you want to set the anchor preset to full rect. And if we add a regular CSG box and move it something like this, and we can even rotate it a little bit and move it down. Now, if we go into the 2D view, we can more easily see the pixelization in effect. I will increase this and now you can see that it's a lot more pixelated. It is very blurry though for the pixelization. And to fix that, you go into texture and on filter, you want to do nearest. That will make the pixels sharp. And this is pixelization. So before we start with the post-processing shader in the description, go to the GitHub with the source code and follow the instructions on how to download or copy the shader. And if you're interested in further details on how the shader was made, I'll link to it in the description. So back to Godot on the camera, you want to add a child and here you want a mesh instance, hit create and the mesh you want is a quad mesh, so new quad mesh. Open the mesh up and make the size 2x2, two two. enable flip faces and search up for extra and it's in the geometry and extra cool margin. I'm gonna drag this out so it's easy to see and you want to set it to the max. On the mesh, on the material, I'm gonna make a new shader. Open it up and make a new shader, call this something like outline. Open the outline shader up and paste the shader code. And we can go into the shader parameters and here you can decrease the darken amount. You can see the dark line around the box. But it gives a nice outline around the actual shape. And it's even more clear in the 2D view where you can now see that the edges are darker and lighter where there is light. I'm also gonna show this with a player. So if you were to have a player, you would want your character body to be inside of the sub viewport and then it would have a camera and then you would attach the script to the character body, right? And then to not have text be affected by the sub viewport, you would have it outside of the sub viewport. So then you can add a label, for example, it won't be affected by the pixelization. If I center it, you'll see it's not affected by the pixelization. And if you're having problems with some things not showing, for example, shaders uh, of other objects, I'm gonna show it off with this CSG box. I'm gonna duplicate it and move it up a little bit. And now if we go into the 2D view, we will see the cube. So I'm gonna select a new cube and we can make a new material for this one. Sometimes it fixes by setting the render priority to something above. So setting it to one could fix it. And also no depth text. This will make it not affected by the shader, but it will also make it render in front of everything else in the scene. I'm gonna duplicate this box again and move it down. And then on the material, I'm gonna make a new shader material. And I'm gonna drag in a water shader I have. And you see that it's not visible and it's easily fixed by increasing the render priority to one and now it is visible again. So now it's up to your imagination for messing around with the stretch shrinking. I think a good value is four. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Ko-Fi members for making this video possible. 
If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description. And we'll see you in the next one.